and, but I also journal in here. And I'm on a, I want to I wanna kind of let you in on, this is very intimate stuff that I kind of write, write, I feel like God downloads and gives me to write down so I, I don't forget it. It's called Everything Counts. Everything is an opportunity, opportunity to worship God. Everything. Check this out. Frustration and anger occur when it doesn't become about worship, but it becomes about me. Think about how oftentimes we get bent out of shape when we don't get our way. The focus turns from God to self. Results become the emphasis leading to frustration and fear again. Worship is the goal leading to peace and joy. The process of doing our best for God. The world holds us to a lesser standard based on results. While God holds us to a higher standard, the highest standard based on maximizing what he has given us. Our talents, our opportunities, the circumstances that he's put in our lives. Everything counts. Everything counts in God's eyes. His eyes are the only ones that really matters. Although we have hopes and dreams, the true goal is to worship him as a, as a byproduct, not the main focus, as a byproduct, he may actually allow us to accomplish both after he has said, well done, good and faithful servant. You see, the world looks at the outside while God looks at our hearts. This is what the Bible says. Okay, let's continue to remember that everything counts and pray that God allows us to have pure hearts in all that we get to do. As my wife reminds me, no matter what happens, we do not change. And that really means a lot to me because, you know, in, just in that same example in Samuel, uh, six, now we're moving on to Samuel 16, this is what God looks at. This is what God cares about. This is what God talking. Do not look at his appearance or at the height of his stature. Because I have rejected him. For God, this is the big point here. For God sees not as man sees. What does man look at? For man looks at the outward appearance. The outward appearance. How we look, how we, how we present ourselves to other people. But the Lord looks at what? Looks at the heart. And in the end, I, I want to leave a, a thought here. You know, all of us want to do great things. And all of us want to do great things for God. And the perfect example of that comes in, in the story of Peter when he was walking on water. And while he was walking on water, this is just to quickly paraphrase what happened. Peter got out of the boat. Jesus was walking on water. Jesus called him, come, it's me. So he started walking. He's looking at Jesus. Okay, if Pastor Josh is the symbolic Jesus, I'm walking towards Jesus. He's doing awesome things. He's walking on water. He's like, yes, he's getting closer to the, to the Lord. And then what happens? Do you got, tell me, so, somebody in here, tell me what happened. He sank. Why did he sink? He got frightened because he started looking. He got his focus off of Jesus and started looking at all the problems, all the people and the lives it was a storm but symbolically all the things that's going on in his life and then he sunk boom and guess what happened after that this is the most important thing because we all sink Jesus comes picks up his hand and goes come on man why'd you take your eyes off of me the point here guys is this once we're saved once we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior we're in it's a beautiful thing it's a gift so whether you're walking on water doing amazing things for God, and you get to Christ, or you're sinking, is this. This is the huge point here, guys. While we're on this earth, wouldn't we rather walk on water for God instead of sink? And would we not? And what's the key here? We need to focus in on Jesus and on Christ. That's the, that's the ultimate reason for doing the things that we do. Focus on Him. He's our strength. He's our source. He's our guide. Everything else is mute. Everything else doesn't matter. Okay? So uh, I appreciate the opportunity to come and share. I think I went a little over this time. Sorry. But he gave me the clearance. So, uh, you know, I said, okay. So I appreciate it. So we pray with me, guys. Thanks for, thanks for listening today.
Okay, let's pray. Let's, let's pray to honor God. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this awesome place. More importantly, thank you for the people, the men and women in here. God, I pray that you allow us to have pure hearts before you in all that we do. And then we see everything that we do as an act of worship. God, thank you so much. We love you. Please continue to grow us all. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.